Have you ever had a tool that was barely functional, but you kept it running because you were too frugal or cheap to buy a new one? You kept on fixing it and fixing it until finally the day came when you had enough. You just had to crack open that wallet and buy a new one. And when you finally got the new tool, you had such a good feeling. No more struggling with that old piece of junk. Well, that's exactly how I feel about this old piece of junk. Mr. Adler! Uh, what? Tommy stuck his face in the belt sander. This is my 4 inch by 36 inch belt sander. There was a circular disc on the front here, but I had to remove it because this belt kept falling off. Listen to the beautiful noise that this makes. That's just horrible! So after doing a lot of research and watching some YouTube videos to find the best belt sander in my price range. Tommy, I told you not to screw around with the belt sander. I settled on one made by Porter Cable. Let's open it up and take a look. A belt sander is one of the most widely used tools in my shop. When I'm working on a project, I'm using this thing every day and I'm starting to do more work with metals, so I'm gonna need a good sander that works well with both. But why did I buy this sander? There were of course a lot of cheaper models and then way more expensive models. In the video title, I call this the best belt sander for under 300 bucks. Well, 299, plus of course the government gets its 10%. But I obviously haven't tested every single belt sander under 300 bucks. So if you got good ones that fall into this category, please add it to the comments and share it with all of us. When deciding on which product to buy, I did what most of you probably do. You Googled it and watched a bunch of YouTube videos. But let me tell you the features that I loved about this one and why I picked it. Then you can decide for yourself. First of all, the belt. This is a four inch by 36 inch belt and they can be changed pretty easily actually. You remove two screws, open the handle, slide that off, and then the belts can be easily changed. This thing can sand both horizontally and vertically. Now I've seen other sanders that have a support leg that you put under here. That kind of is just a little more clunky and it gets in the way. You don't need it with this one, maybe because this thing weighs 41 pounds. Number two, the circular disc is eight inches. My previous one was only six, so you have a much bigger surface area for sanding. It does use this peel and stick paper, which is not extremely easy to remove. You gotta take off this plate and this fence and then peel it off. It's not as easy as the other belt. The other thing that I love is this miter fence. It's got a groove in here. My previous one was just straight on both sides, so it had a lot more play in it. With this, it doesn't move at all, and you're gonna get true 90 degree angles. Number four, the dust collection system. A lot of other sanders have separate ports for your belt sander and for your disc sander. With this, all the dust gets funneled through one port into a dust collection bag. I don't even have a dust collection system in my garage, my system, open the overhead door and have a fan blowing out. Not sure the neighbors like that, but this all collects into one reusable bag that you can empty out and then just slap it back on. So everything feels really good with this machine. It's solid, I like it, and I can't wait to start using it. Another thing I love about this is the motor. It's got a powerful five amp direct drive motor which means that there's no belts like my other one. That one, it would stop when I would push a piece of wood up against it. The motor wasn't very powerful and the belt also caused some drag. With this thing, it has more power and less parts that can fail and break.
Well, so far, I love it. Now, I'm not so sure about Woodrow here. I think he's a little freaked out by it. You know, he's made of wood, but don't tell him. Anyway, thanks for watching Alley Picked. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.